Okay, so we're on our last day now. So it's Friday. Um, we've cleaned the apartment. Obviously, it's cleaner than we uh, actually went into it. <laughs> yeah. Um, packed our bags, got everything in the car, and now we're just chilling on site for a bit. And we forgot that uh, we haven't actually took you around the uh, the resort, so that's what we're going to do. We are. And behind me there, that is East Entrance. So if you're staying in Hanukkah Village or potentially Oyster Bay or the caravans or the caravans that's where you're going to come in and then over there you see those red I don't know what you're going to call those red drive free red booths they are for the driver check-in driving check-in and I've got to say I was quite impressed with that apart from the lady we saw she was just rude uh, this building here that is Studio 36 so Studio 36 is actually outside the skyline. So you've come out of it to queue up to get into it. Just past Reds. Yeah, it's just past Studio Reds. 36. And then behind you've got, what do they call that? We used to call it Blue Skies. Yeah, we'll drop, uh, we'll drop a little thing on the screen now saying what that, uh, yeah. that old Blue Skies to us, what, what it is now. But I was really impressed with Studio 36, was you? Yeah, I did like it to be fair. And it was a lot cooler as well, because some venues can get a bit hot, but Studio 36, I enjoyed it. And then you download an app called B-Serve, and you can get your drinks ordered to your table. I do like that. That is good. Um, they are a bit short on staff, so there was a little bit of a wait this time, but... Yeah, but it was all right. Yeah, I yeah. I didn't mind it. It's better than standing up queuing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but the only thing we did notice last night when we were in centre stage, we went and saw the show Jay and Joss. Jay and Jane Joss, is that what you call it? Jay and Joss, Jay the and magicians Joss. and illusionists. I mean, they were good. It, I enjoyed it. Chris enjoyed it, but I'm not an illusionist kind of person. Um, we ordered our drinks, and then we got some more. But by the time it came, the show then finished and we were told we had to leave. So yes, yeah, so and now you have to leave after the show in centre stage, which I don't like that, but I suppose you get used to it. Okay, so this is Hanukkah Village. Uh, Hanukkah Village is split into two sections. So this is section one, and then past the church, which you'll see in a minute, is then section two. These are apartments as well. So in Hanukkah Village, you get so many like two rooms: so a double room, a twin room, a bathroom. Some have showers, some have baths and showers, and you get a lounge area. It's all ground floor as well. Yeah, all ground floor. Perfect for wheelchairs. Now, when I was on the Dream Team... Just to remind what the Dream Team is. So, Dream Team, so on security, when we work resort safety, um, and I was the responder, we used to also have to do this thing called Dream Team. Now, if your name was pulled out the hat, you got told you had to do it, and Dream Team was every Friday and every Monday. Every intake day, yeah. We had to get up early, bear in mind, that's not in the venues, never got up early. Oh, we wouldn't finish till no. two o'clock in the morning. Two, three o'clock in the morning. Adult weekends, you, you wouldn't finish till whatever time the party and stopped. We used to come along, come and collect your little cart of your cleaning supplies, and then you had to come and clean the apartments, and I took a lot of pride in my cleaning. And then a few hours later, you'd be back to your normal job. Yeah. Go for team diner for your £1.50 meal. If I find one open and there's nobody in there, I'll pop in. That'd be cheeky. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see this, but we're going to try and show you. So this isn't the same standard as the Hanukkah village with the patios. Because the inside are a lot, lot nicer. But I still like this. So you've got your own living room, TV. Dining area. And then the back is the kitchen. And just a short walk from Holnicott Village, the Highwayman pub, or it used to be called the Highwayman. Um, it's, What's it called now? I'm not too sure. I'll see if it is. It could be still called the Highwayman, but... This is basically like a star pub, wasn't it? Yeah, and for caravanners, wasn't it? Yeah. Because it's right next... Oh, it is still called the Highwayman. But I would say mainly it was for staff. Especially when I haven't got jacks. Yeah. But yeah, this is nice. It overlooks the lake as well. To let. So this one's a three bedroom, 
um, lodge which you can rent and just in front of that, I don't know if you can see, is the lake we might probably get a better view around the other side just thought we'd stop at this one you can uh, rent this one out as well, it sleeps eight people I'm not sure if you can see what's on the roof there but it looks like a garden parasol hanging mm. out the roof <laughs> I don't know how that's got up there at all I don't know how they're going to get it down to be no. honest they're going to have to go on the roof aren't they? yeah, you can just see it sticking out there here comes a nice lodge that's nice isn't it? yeah, I've never actually stayed in the lodge no, neither have I Day. So about the caravan park, you come straight back to Holnicott village and you take a left to Oyster Bay. There's also a supermarket as well if you need to grab some essentials. Uh, that's this way as well. So we'll have a quick look at Oyster Bay. Do you fancy having a little look at Team Lines, Luce? I think we can get that down there, yeah. We'll have a look. They do look like uh, the shallows in Fafeli, don't they? Yeah. So Bourne Leisure must have used the same design on all, all the sites. Although I think we're coming up to where Oyster Bay has started to be redone. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I can see, see the, uh, the staircase, yeah. You can see the difference from down there to what's coming up. Yeah, that is actually a nice, uh, nice look, isn't it? Yeah. We're saying that, then they go back to that. They are starting to do them up, though, definitely. Cause oh, definitely, yeah. And we've got the shop. And here's the supermarket. And just on the side of that is the uh, the guest laundriette. At the side and behind the shop is the uh, team lines where all the team at Butlins or some of them anyway, this is where they stay. He used to be on both sides as well. I'll include a photo. Because um, this used to be gold apartments going back in what the 60s or something like that, Lewis. Yeah. So I'll include a photo now. But this used to be on both sides, and this is what we'd refer to as a shed. So we've uh, had a little look around Team Lines. There wasn't a sign saying we couldn't, so we no. did. But and we didn't record. No, we didn't record because you know it's we'd, staff. It's staff. We're giving them a no. It's team. Sorry, team. It's team and we thought we'd give them a bit of privacy and unfortunately our old shed is well gone isn't it it's long rubble. gone it's rubble. rubble very sad it is many happy memories down team lines there's a great bunch of there's a great bunch of team love working yeah, with them yeah it really was so uh let's go and check out this new village which has took out uh, took out most of uh, west car park Okay, this is the new village anyway. Oh, and it looks like you've got your own chalet as parking as well. That's good. These 
one to the right. These used to be um, contractor accommodation like 15 years ago. But they haven't moved them. I don't, I don't know why they haven't got rid of these. They said our shed was condemned. <laughs> well, maybe this is future plans for Butlins. They're gonna, they've started to the left, which did need to go down. Yeah. Can you remember what that was called? No, but I haven't we'll, been in quarantine there when I went very well. <laughs> we'll drop it in the description. Well, we'll drop a little, little text in the video just to see what the village used to be called. But maybe that's next on Butlins' uh, agenda is to take these ones down. Okay, so here we've got Ocean Point. These were quite nice, wasn't they? They was basic, but there was... Yeah, they're basic, they're basic. They haven't got a kitchen or a lounge. You literally have your bedroom and your bathroom. But the food court is right next to right it, next so... Door. yeah. If you have, what do you call it, a dining package? If you've yeah. got a dining package, I suppose you would be staying in one of these. you just got to weigh it out whether it's worth it for yourself or not. Can we get in to have a look around these? Yeah, we'll take a left here. It's got warm again, isn't it? It has. I do like how you can park outside your shallow with these ones. It does make sense since they got rid of the parking. Yeah. Because that is a big chunk of car park they took away, isn't it? It is. Yeah, what I like with these ones, a lot of them are based around like a little pond, ain't they? Can we mm. can we see it that way? I think we probably can this way. We're coming to Windsor now, so this is the Windsor area. I mean, they do look nice, don't they? It does look nice, yeah. Nice balconies as well, upstairs and downstairs, depending on which one you're on. Again, if I can get a sneaky peek, I'll get a sneaky peek. Here's one of the little ponds. Oh, little ducks. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Sitting on the balcony. Yeah, sitting on the balcony, enjoying a, a lemonade, watching the sun go down, and just nice and peaceful. And there you can see the skyline just behind Lucy's head. Oh, sorry. This reminds me of walking around some of the swamps in Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No snapping turtles here though. No. I think Gatorland had one of these where you could walk over the water with the gators underneath. Yeah. Well, snakes. Uh we'll drop um a link in the description of Gatorland if you want to check that one out. That's from a, a visit many, many years ago, isn't it? We've not been there since. We was hoping to go in our last trip but Unfortunately, we didn't have time. There's so much to do in Orlando. And we had free tickets as well. We did. Anyway, this is a Butlins um, vlog, so... How nice would that be, just sitting on your balcony, enjoying a nice drink, having a meal, overlooking the pond. Okay, so these are the dining areas, which you buy on your package if you want to get the dining package. Ocean Drive restaurant. And the entrance is just there. Not there. With these, it's kind of like you go up and get it yourself. It's not, um, what do you call it? Uh, table service. Yeah, it's not table service. You go and get it yourself. And then, I can't remember what this one's called. This, wasn't the, this one used to be called the Yacht Club? It was called the Yacht Club back in the day. Well, I'm not sure if it still is. Let's have a, have a look, see if they changed the name or not. I think it's called the Deck. The Deck, yeah, yeah, right. The Deck Restaurant. This is done quite nice. It is, yeah. A few little picnic tables. Yeah. Still. But it's slippy though. Space as well, isn't it? Mm. And it's only a short walk to uh, the skyline. Yeah, like a three minute walk from here, isn't it? 
the fact of people being able to swing the, the camera around from the deck restaurant entrance to the skyline. Oh, I just still set a yacht club on the uh, on the window, but see the window on the door. Oh yeah. The yacht club, the deck restaurant. It says skyline just over there. It must still be called the yacht club because there's also a sign just pointed. Ah, uh, there we go, the yacht club. Oh yeah, some must be. Well, if there's two hmm. there, then. Used to just be for caravan owners, didn't it? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, and then it goes to the team diner. Well, what used to be the team diner. Now well, I spent a lot of my days when I'm working here. They've watch. still got a lot of COVID measures in, one way in, one way out. Oh, have they? Yeah, just seen in there. So that is Atlantic Bay to the left. And this one's called Coast. Coast restaurant. Which doesn't, doesn't look, look like, like a restaurant. restaurant. So they must be doing some work on that. I can't remember a lot about Atlantic Bay. I don't remember dealing with Atlantic Bay that much. Do you? No. It's the one area that I never really dealt with. So in between the Yacht Club, the deck, and the skyline is uh, Pacific Wharf. This is looking... A lot nicer. Yeah, it's looking a lot nicer. Some nice plants. They used to be. Um, some lights in it up above as well. Yeah, this is looking a lot better than it used to. Now these accommodations, again, only have bedrooms and the bathroom so there's no lounge and no kitchen and as you can see they're all ground floor as well yeah. so if you are situated you, you you don't have to worry about are you going to be upstairs or not and it's what a two minute walk to the skyline I'd say one minute. <laughs> yeah it will go two minutes because you're on holiday you want to take a leisurely place pace so yeah it's just say two minutes but as you can see you're coming up to the scoop ice cream in on the green and firehouse grill this is also where the boardwalk is which takes you into the skyline i do like what they've done here kind of, and, yeah and just to your left you got splash uh swimming pool and uh k2 k2 it used to be called i'm sure if it still is but oh, yeah. that's like uh the high ropes obstacle course would you say yeah we'll see if we can get a bit of a closer look after we've gone through the skyline and the fun fair on our way back to the uh to the chalet well no to the car park it's that car last park, day yeah firehouse grill so that's a sit down restaurant table service and yet there are a couple of times it is it is nice if i remember rightly yeah. but that was going back a few years ago uh we've not done it on this visit And in on the green, that's the old uh, old Irish bar. They've really extended this one, haven't they? They've yeah. made this, well, it seems to be bigger than we remember anyway. And this is the boardwalk. And this is the boardwalk where you've got the entrance to Firehouse Grill, in on the green. It's so cramped. No, I always thought it was benches. a little bit wider, but yeah, maybe. They've got machines in there, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, Cornish Pass is still here. Do you remember that used to be like a little, little bit like a hole in the wall? Yeah. And then you've got another supermarket. 
just to the right. Send stage and red is to the right, you'll see send stage in the corner. Go just outside to the right where you'll see reds and straight down to uh, Studio 36. Okay, so in the middle of the skyline now, um, I'm talking a bit closer to the camera because it is quite loud. So we've got Costa Coffee for all you coffee lovers out there. This is a new one, didn't this? used to be like a treat uh, sweet shop. Yeah, mega treats you used mega to say. Mega treats, yeah. Um, hot shots. That's like a sports bar, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so you've got pool, uh, bowling, you know, the Hines. Uh, we've got a uh, stage there with Skyland Gang go on. Let's see what else we've got. Not forgetting the arcade as well, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. And then Jumping Jacks used to be like uh, more of a club. Adult only venue. That yeah, one, adult right? only. Um, that's now turned into a prize collection point, which is a little bit sad. They've got a VR zones, Ludo's Italian, that's like a buffet all you can eat, and I think it's like 12 quid. And you've got Burger King. Yeah. Um, she's just a. Oh, Miss Prime, it's like a robot, isn't it? I think it's quite tall. I think he's probably the place Titan. So Mega Treats has moved to here. So you get like slushies, rock, popcorn, sweets. And then this is where you can meet the Skyline Gang. And then as we make ourselves go outside, we come into the Sir Billy Butlin's Fairground. And it's a lot cooler. So over here we have the race cars. You seem got paid for this though, haven't you? The go kart today. Yeah. No, I'm not going to check sure, so we'll have a look. Looks like they're setting up for Halloween as well. There's pumpkins popping oh, yeah. up everywhere. Yeah, I suppose it's only around the corner, isn't it? I do like Butlins at Halloween. I remember it a few years ago. It's uh, the fun fairs open quite late at night, isn't it? And it's all green and misty. Yeah. So yeah, seven pound per car per race. Quite expensive, isn't it? Let's have a look. Two different kind of cars. We've got a single seater car, which holds an adult or a child. Or a double seater car for an adult. We'll have to keep talking so no one gets the coffee no. right. <laughs> Got a... So then we'll go over to the fair. It's more of a, a traditional fun fair, isn't it? Where you got the chair, yeah. the chair of planes, the house scouts, and fairground games. Quick question for Lucy, the Dodgeons. Didn't Sir Billy Butlins bring the Dodgeons over to the UK? Yeah. He did indeed. They've gone now, haven't they? Oh no, they're still there, to be honest. There. Yeah, apparently, didn't he see them in America and he brought them over to England? Yeah, so you've got a hook a duck, throw a dart, you know. Throw a dart. I don't know what you want to call it. And put a ball in the bin. 
hot pots apparently. We got the paratroopers. The chair swings. Now these you don't have to pay for. These are all part of your package. Now you've got the dodgems, which you know, you have to dodge. You get told off if you hit. Yeah, they're not bumper cars, they're no, dodgems. dodgems. I remember they used to say, no bumping on the bumper cars. Now these don't look like they're new, do they? Great fun though, you can't, you can't miss the ride round on the dodgers though, can you? No. And you've got the waltzers. And then the Helter Skelter. The chair plane's just going around. It moves quite quick, doesn't it? Though? Yeah. That's quite a good, uh, that's quite a good, yeah. It swings it's up quick, and down, yeah. The rock oh, and tug. I don't like them. The rock and tug. They have a little bit of a spin on them. And yeah, they have. They got one at um, Drake Manor. Drake Manor in it Thomas was in, Land. It was in the shape of a ship, wasn't it? Yeah. I can't remember his name. We're going to a Hall of Mirrors. Why not? Oh, that looks weird, doesn't it? It's like two of me. <laughs> Can't even handle one of me. Oh, this one. Oh. It's kind of... You stretched. Give me... Well, I'm not quite sure it's giving me... It's giving me two... <laughs> Long legs. Two bums. Oh, dear. Nobody wants two bums, do they? This one. What does this one do? Does it I make think you it smaller? makes you look shorter, yeah. <laughs> This one, oh, oh, makes oh. me look skinny. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that one. I need to get a mirror like this at home. Look at that. Even me bum skinny. Oh. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Would you still like me if I had a bum like this? No. No. Now, this is one that makes you look smaller. Oh, yeah. I can't believe how hot it's got. I know. You right? Okay. That is the first person that said hello to us, except for the people that we know. I believe that was uh, resort safety was as well, so thumbs up resort safety. Okay, so I'll take you to the outdoor pool. Now, this has not changed one bit. We'll show you this one as there's no water in it and there's, uh, so there's no kids about. So. Literally, this hasn't changed at all. It may have had a, pa a paint job, but that is it. I'll try and get some photos. Maybe we can uh, pop them in here now as well. No, everything here seems exactly the same. The benches seem the same. Did they always have the ice cream stand here? No. No, so that's no. And if you did want to go into uh, Splash, they've got slides as well. You used to be a lifeguard at Splash, didn't you, Lisa? I certainly did. So you can explain what they had when you was here. So, well, I still know what they've got. Um, so you've got a couple of slides, and you've got the Master Blaster, which is a slide on a boat. So that's pretty good. Uh, there's a baby pool, and then there's a pool that sometimes they do lanes in, so you can do some lane swimming. And they've got a lazy river, and also waves as well. But it's literally lifeguards every single point. And the lifeguards... So yeah, the lifeguards change position every 30 minutes. And after they've done a round, you either go on the wave one round or the wave two round, you then get a break. So lifeguards are changed every 30 minutes. 
Um, but no, it was, it was good. It was a good job. But unfortunately, I found out then I was allergic to chlorine. <laughs> but then As we found out would. it wasn't allergic to chlorine. I was asthmatic, and the chlorine made the asthma worse. So that's when I moved from Splash to Resort Safety. Okay, so this is the entrance to Splash. You can find all the details on the Butlins app of what times it is. So on in the summer, you normally get a band. You can only stand there for a couple of hours. But when it's downtime, you can stand there for quite long. Not normally as long as you like, to be honest. There's K2 as well, the climbing plane, which is paid extra. Yeah, I'll show you that. And I've just thought there is something missing, Moose. They that? used to have a post here, which you would free fall jump up. Do you remember? No, I thought that was up here. I'm sure that was back there. It might have been. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> If you've seen it, to climb up the post and then you just have a road round and you jump off. Okay, so it's a splash. So you can buy swimsuits in there and like the water nappies. I'm not quite sure what they're called. We'll show you quickly inside from a picture which is viewable but we won't actually go through the window. So this is so this is spots inside splash. Yeah. So this is called Aerial Adventure and you can book it on the Botlins app. So you go onto your app store. To be fair, everything now is done by app, isn't it? But yeah. So they've got a little kids version and they've got a bigger kids or adults version. But it's cool, we'll have to try and find that price and then uh, we'll let you know. Beach coma. Now, I like this place when I came. It's a nice Sunday roast in here. I like the plants that live on there. You've got some little paper for the kids as well, but you have your drink on the weekend. Yeah, I think that's everything, is it? It is. Hope you enjoyed our little tour around Sutton's uh, Minard. Um, stay tuned to the channel, we are stopping at the Premier Inn, so we'll do a little room tour and we'll go around Mine as well. I think you said we've got Track Aquarium tomorrow. Yes, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. We, we get to hold snakes last time I went, so you know me, I love snakes, so. So yeah, been absolutely, we, really, we really have had a great five days here. Started off a bit rough, but honestly I've enjoyed it myself. How about you? Yeah, I'll definitely come back again, it's, yeah. it's nice. Love the part of the country as well. So thank you Butlins Miner team, keep it up. Until next time.